I love reading a good book. Fiction books give me pleasure and they're so fun to enjoy. But I also like learning new things and that's when we read an informational text or nonfiction. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to read Rainforest Animals. When I'm finished reading it, I want you guys to be able to retell and tell somebody else about Rainforest Animals. So you're going to need to know the topic, the main idea, and at least three details. Let's jump in and read the story. Rainforest Animals. Okay, this is a nonfiction story. So remember, when we retell a nonfiction story, we got to know what the topic is, the main idea, and at least three details from the story. Rainforest Animals by Alice B. McGinty. She's going to be the author in this with the words, there isn't an illustrator. There's a photographer. It doesn't mention who the photographer is right here. It may be Alice. But this is a true story. It is nonfiction. Let's learn about these rainforest animals. How do animals live in the rainforest? It's hot and tropical, misty and rainy, plant life everywhere. I don't know, let's find out. Green iguana. The rainforest is green. So is the iguana. The green iguana matches the leaves. If a predator that wants to eat it comes near, the iguana stays still. It looks like a leaf. This kind of hiding is called camouflage. There are many predators in the rainforest. Animals blend in to stay safe. Red-eyed tree frog. If a snake frightens this red-eyed tree frog, the frog opens its eyes wide. The bright red startles the snake. Who is scared now? In the rainforest, bright colors can mean stay away. Some brightly colored animals are poisonous. Toucan. The toucan finds plenty of food in the rainforest. It uses its large beak to grab fruit and crack nuts open. Toucans can also use their long beaks to catch insects and lizards and snatch eggs from nests. Three-toed sloth. Some animals live on the rainforest floor. Others nest in low branches. The three-toed sloth lives high in the trees. This part of the rainforest is called the canopy. Living green things called algae grow in the sloth's fur. The algae make the sloth look green. The sloth blends into the trees and leaves, just like the iguana. Black Howler Monkey. The rainforest is noisy. Many animals communicate by making sounds. Groups of black howler monkeys howl each morning to let other groups know where they are. It's hard to see one another through the thick rainforest leaves. Their voices carry for miles. Giant Harlequin Beetle. This beetle lays its eggs inside dead trees. When the eggs hatch, the young creatures eat through the dead wood to leave the tree. Many rainforest animals chew up dead wood. The wood becomes part of the soil that feeds new plants.
Find out more. The green iguana changes color to match its surroundings. Sometimes it looks brown, sometimes green, sometimes both. The iguana's mood and the temperature also affect its color. The red-eyed tree frog has suction cups on its toes. The suction cups help the tree frog climb trees and attach itself to the underside of leaves. The toucan, or, excuse me, the toucan has the biggest beak of any bird its size. The toucan uses its long beak to reach fruit on branches that are too thin for the bird to sit on. The three-toed sloth has sharp, rounded claws to hold on to tree limbs and grab twigs to eat. It can also use its claws to defend itself. The black howler monkey wraps its tail around a branch and hangs down to eat leaves. The tail can grasp and feel a lot like a hand. The black and red marks on giant harlequin beetles make them look like harlequins, clowns who wear tights with a black and red diamond pattern on them. The end. Okay, we finished rainforest animals. Now we've got to be able to retell it to someone else. So first we're going to need the topic. Well, the topic is very broad. That's the big, big picture. So the topic's gonna to be animals. Now, when we get to the main idea, we're gonna be a little more focused. And the main idea of rainforest animals is actually right there at the title. It's rainforest animals, okay? And then the top, the details, there were so many cool details we learned. Some of the ones that were my favorite, some of the ones that were my favorite, sorry about that, you guys. Some of the ones that were my favorite were the bright colors. A lot of animals that are poisonous are bright colored in the rainforest. Some aren't though. They're sneaking and trying to be sneaky about it. Okay. I also liked learning about the algae growing on the sloth's fur to make it look green like the iguana so it has camouflage. And last, you know, there's so many details to choose from, but I did like learning that the iguana can change colors much like a chameleon. I know about chameleons changing colors. I didn't know that iguanas do that too. Pretty cool. So get yourself an informational text sometimes. You can learn some really cool stuff. Bye.